Okay, let me go ahead and get started and uh, make some introductions. Um, they're not in the order that my introductions are in, so raise your hand when I start introducing you. And we're going to start off with uh, my good friend uh, and Tar Heel, Rick Staub, who is uh, president of Intermed Biomedical Services, Inc., Intermed Nuclear, Intermed, and Intermed Ultrasound Services. They're located in Alachua, Florida. He co-founded the company in 1995. And they have offices throughout the Southeast selling, servicing, and training hospitals and clinics on biomedical devices such as defibrillators, ultrasound, and nuclear medicine. Intermed Biomedical Services was named one of the country's fastest growing businesses for the past two years by Inc. Magazine and was honored in October 2010 as the Gainesville Area Chamber of Commerce Overall Small Business of the Year. Mr. Staub and his wife Michelle started the nonprofit organization Tyler's Hope for a Dystonia Cure in 2006, shortly after their son Tyler was diagnosed with dystonia, a neurological movement disorder. Their daughter Samantha was diagnosed with the disease a few years later. Mr. Staub is president and director of that nonprofit, which has raised over $1.75 million to fund neurology research to prevent and cure dystonia while creating awareness of the disorder. Rick is also a member, as you already know, of our board of directors at the Gainesville Area Chamber of Commerce. Tim Broom, who is at your far right, is president and founder of New Horizons Computer Learning Center in Gainesville. Through his marketing and management expertise, he has led his team to receive every market dominator award issued by New Horizons Corporate. And out of 10,000 computer training centers, New Horizons Gainesville was recognized in 2009 as one of the top 15 centers worldwide by Microsoft and ranked number one worldwide by Adobe Systems. Cisco Systems honors New Horizons as Learning Partner of the Year for the second year in a row, and the gain, second year in a row, and the Gainesville location is consistently a top delivery center of Cisco Learning with their network. New Horizons also was just recognized, and I think uh, a lot of folks are aware of this, and we were excited as the 2010 Global I want to repeat that word, Global Location of the Year by New Horizons Network, which is the top award given to one center out of their 300 locations worldwide. Kristen Hadid, on our far left, is founder of Student Made. She started cleaning houses in college to put herself through school, and two years later, Student Made now employs over 75 college students, all of whom must, me must meet a minimum 3.5 GPA requirement. The company has experienced astronomical growth over 500% in the last year and was named the 2010 Leading Women's Enterprise by the Gainesville Area Chamber of Commerce. This summer, Student Maid is expected to employ 300 students. Student Maid also gives back. In 2010 alone, employees volunteered over 1,000 hours of community service, and the company donated over $50,000 in services to nonprofit organizations. One year after her graduation from the University of Florida in May 2010, Kristen remains active in the Gainesville community. She serves as one of our chamber diplomats, an ambassador for the Builders Association, and is a board member for both the Arbor House and the Gainesville Area Women's Network. She frequently shares her business expertise with business and entrepreneurship classes at the University of Florida as a guest lecturer. She looks forward to expanding student made in Gainesville and beyond, right? Josh Greenberg is the Chief Technology Officer of Groove Shark, the fastest growing on-demand music service in the world. He's originally from St. Petersburg, Florida. He came to Gainesville in 2005 as a business administration student at UF's Warrington College of Business. Josh co-founded Groove Shark during his freshman year at the University of Florida. His background prior to getting into this music business was primarily in web development. Before GrooveShark came into existence, Josh served managerial and technical roles in his past two companies, both of which were web development startups. Josh co-founded GrooveShark in 2006 while studying business administration at UF. He's a lifelong developer and entrepreneur, having previously founded two web development companies, including OrgPoint, did I say that right, Josh? OrgPoint LLC. He's led GrooveShark as the CTO since its inception in 2006. As CTO, Josh leads GrooveShark's engineering, infrastructure, creative, data, and community teams. In addition to playing a large role in GrooveShark's strategic planning, Josh guides the direction for GrooveShark's unique set of products, spending most of his time 
coordinating high-level strategy with technological implementation. Please help me welcome all four of our presenters here today. Thank you.